Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a new foundation review for you. This time it is of the Hourglass Vanish Seamless Finish Foundation Stick. So glad I finally tried it. So many of you have been recommending it to me. I think it's because you guys know I like more of that medium to full coverage and this it is. I'm just going to start off by telling you guys right off the bat, I do like this foundation. I feel like it's up there with like one of my new faves. I do have some cons which I'll get into near the end like after my demo but there's so many good things about it. So there's one sentence on the website that will explain it better than I can. It's a long wearing foundation stick with the coverage of a concealer, fluidity of a liquid, and weightlessness of a powder for invisible full coverage. And it says it's good for all skin types, normal, dry, oily, sensitive, that's very important. There are 26 different shades to choose from. I thought that was pretty decent. And I bought mine from Sephora for $56. That's Canadian. In American, it's $46, so there's an idea of how much it will cost you. And I think that is it. Before we get started, make sure to subscribe to my channel if you guys are new. And now we can move over to me, barefaced. I just want to give you guys a good look at the packaging, because I think it's actually really sleek looking. I like that you just twist up and then the product is ready to go. You see how much I had to twist up there? I feel like every time I use it though, I'm noticing that I've been using a lot of product, but I actually haven't, like I haven't used it enough that I should feel like I'm running out, but that's kind of how I feel already. So what I like to do is start with the centers of my face because that's usually where I like to provide the most coverage. And then like a stripe here, here, a little bit here, and then like a touch there. Looks like I have war paint on. I do like applying this foundation or blending it out with a brush. You guys know if you watch my videos, I am like a beauty blender fanatic. I love that thing for every foundation, but with this one, I actually do think it works a lot better with a brush. So see, it just blends into the skin so, so nicely. The best way I can describe this is like it melts into your skin like butter, seriously. I don't think I mentioned the color to you guys yet, but I'm using light beige. It's a little bit lighter on the skin, but I do think it oxidizes a little bit. I initially bought warm beige. I chose it off the website and I totally messed up, so I had to exchange it in store. So again, because I told you I like a little bit more coverage, I'm gonna apply some more to the cheeks around my nose because I think I missed that area on the first time. And when you're doing the second layer, I think that tapping the foundation into the skin works better than rubbing because I don't want to move it, I just want to build. For the last step, what I do is I just ditch the brush and I go over the face with my beauty blender. This is a dry one because I don't want to shear it out. And I just get rid of any of the brush strokes that were left behind from patting it into the skin. But look, I think it looks flawless, it has such good coverage a lot of the times with like liquids I'll have to like I'm still not happy with the coverage that it provides on the cheeks so I'll go in with more concealer than I want to to help you know blend everything together but this just does such a good job on its own without looking thick or cakey I think if you have any type of texture to your skin this will just glide over top of it and smooth it out without drawing more attention to it now I'm gonna go in with some concealer I didn't say I don't have to use concealer afterwards I said I just don't have to use as much now one thing I struggle with at the beginning of using the foundation I still kind of do on some days but that's setting it because this is a cream so don't forget you have to really set it well especially if you are more on the oily or combination skin side. I do have to touch my face up when I use this because it does make my skin look really glowy. At the very beginning, I do go over it pretty dang well. I'm just using my Laura Mercier translucent setting powder. Remember with this, it's a cream. You wanna make sure not to drag the powder but tap it into the skin. Because more often than not, for me, if I drag, I'm making it look dry, and you'll see your skin start to like separate and it looks cakey, so tap it, don't drag. All right, full face is on. Uh, that was, I'm not gonna lie, about a half an hour because I started to get a little hangry. I couldn't even form sentences after my face was finished, so I ate an apple and we're back. So my face, or my foundation has definitely had some time to kinda sink into the skin. With that said, it's had some time to mix with my natural oils, so you are seeing 
a little bit more shine to my face than when I left you guys. So you can imagine what it's going to look like after about an hour or two hours. But let's get right into my pros and cons list because I did make one for you guys. I wrote it down because I wanted to keep this as simple and easy as possible for you. Pro number one, I think this product is super easy to use. You just literally swipe the foundation on, you can blend it out really quickly, really smoothly, and I think that if you have a hard time applying foundation or maybe you're just somebody who uh, struggles with it, you're gonna love this product. Number two, I think it gives you really flawless looking skin with very minimal amount of product. Like a little bit goes a long way and two layers of it, I had really flawless looking skin. And number three, this is kind of adding on to what I just said, but I like the fact that in one product you can have a very sheer, more minimal look, but be able to build it up to a medium full coverage foundation when you want to, like maybe for special events. You know, you want to be a little bit more made up for those days. Now my cons list. I think I got to point out the most obvious one. It is expensive for the amount of product you get. I compared it to some other ones on the Sephora website. And here's just like a rough idea. The Anastasia one is 0.32 ounces, $33. There's one from Lancome, 0.31 ounces, $50. 0.25 ounces, $56 pretty steep. It kind of makes you feel like you want to use it more sparingly. Definitely not one that you want to use every day because you're going to go through it like that. Number two, I think this is more for my oily girls because I'm definitely more on the oily combination side. This foundation does make me feel pretty greasy looking throughout the day. Like I can't go without touching it up. I find myself having to tap the foundation into the skin a lot, especially around my chin and my forehead. Like I wish I didn't have to set this because as soon as powder hits it, I feel like it takes away a little bit of that wow factor for me. It almost makes me feel like I have dry skin even though I don't. So I find myself using a hydrating spray but then going in and blotting to make sure I'm not shining all over but just to select areas. It's a whole process. So again, it takes a little bit of getting used to this foundation but once you have it, I think you're okay. Um, but I think that's it. Even after those cons, I still want to say I like it. I would still recommend you trying it because it's a really good formula. I think it's something you should try if you're looking for more of that full coverage look. And I think you will be pleasantly surprised because it doesn't make you feel like you're wearing a thick mask on your face. So I so hope you guys liked my review of this. Please let me know what you want to see me review next in the comments. This new year, I definitely want to try doing more foundations than I already have. You guys know I love reviewing foundations, so let me know which ones you guys want to see. Give this video a thumbs up if you found it helpful. If you're new to my channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button. I post new videos here every week. And that is it. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.